New Country 93.7 JRFM with Reba and Turn On the Radio. Joining us in the studio right now is Aaron Prichette and his son, Mason. Hi, Hi. Mason. Hi. How old are you? Uh, eight. Eight. I just don't think about it for a while. Yeah. Well, I just turned eight. That's why. Is that right? Yeah. Okay, so, and he's an inspiration for one of your songs on the album, which we'll talk about in just yep. a minute here. But uh, an exciting time for you, because you've got the BC CMA Awards coming up this Sunday, mm -hmm. and you've got a new album on the way in the yes. driver's seat, yeah. which is such an appropriate title, considering you are in the driver's seat as far as your career goes right now. You want to tell us about that? Absolutely, yeah, that was the whole point. And uh, again, it doesn't really relate to any songs. Um, the idea was sort of spawned by a, one of the songs uh, named Drive, but... It really has nothing to do with that song. Um, the the point of it is is to yeah take control of your life and take control of everything that you do and there's there's nobody else to blame for it. So um, that's uh, that's the whole premise to this album in the driver's seat and uh, it's I'm proud of every single song on it and hopefully it does really really well. You got your own record label now. Yeah. How does it feel to be your own boss? <laughs> that's really crazy. You know uh, yeah Decibel Records is the name of my record company and. Uh, yeah, it's really neat. Again, in the driver's seat, and and any um, any decision that you make, uh, you know, it's it's your decision, and that's that's the coolest thing about it. Um, so far, everything's running pretty smoothly, and the CD should be out and ready in the stores uh, probably well early November. And I'm guessing you really get along good with the boss. I do, <laughs> <laughs> swimmingly. Yes. Thanks. So you were in the interior this weekend. Tell us about I that. Was. Yeah, up in Kamloops. I have some friends in Kamloops that uh, I said, hey, I think I'm going to be shooting a video. Are you interested in having us out there? And they said, well, as long as you don't make too much trouble and too much noise and make too much damage uh, to any vehicles. But <laughs> we did. We did. We made way too much noise and, and a lot of trouble. Uh, it right? was a lot of fun. Yeah, we shot the video, the new video for uh, the newest single that's going to be out in the next couple weeks or so at, at the latest. Light it up. And uh, yeah, the video Light is it up. Sounds yeah, like a theme it's song fun. For BC Bud or something. Yeah, Derek. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it could be a. You never know. It could be a sponsor. Derek Rattan yeah, co-wrote it. No. Eh? Yeah, Derek Rattan and I wrote this song, and uh, when I kind of approached him with the idea of light it up, he went, "Yeah, let's do this. This is really cool." And uh, as easy as 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 easy as uh, "Hold My Beer" was to write, "Let's Get Rowdy" was to write with Derek. This was just as easy and just as quick. About an hour and a half it took us, and although the day was about six hours long, we just spend uh, the rest of the time drinking coffee and talking about our lives. <laughs> so tell us about uh, Mason, your son being the inspiration for one of the songs on the uh, CD. Well, there's a song on the uh, on the album that's called I Want to Be In It With You, and uh, I think it's going to be the, the sleeper hit, smash hit of the, of the whole album. But the idea was originally thought up by Mason, who's sitting right here beside me. He was sitting in the back of the truck. And uh, he said, I think you should write a song called I Want to Be In It With You. And I said, well, what does that mean to you? And he said, I just, I want to be in it with you. Your life, I want to be in it with you. So I approached, uh, of course, uh, our good friend Willie Mack. And Willie said, yes, let's write this. And uh, we came up with this song. It's just absolutely beautiful. So thanks, Mace. I can't wait to hear You're it. You're welcome. <laughs> You're welcome. So the BC CMA Awards coming up this Sunday. How many awards do you have for? Uh, I think it's five. five. As far as I know, it's about five or so. And yeah, I'm... I'm thrilled this is awesome and I, you know what I don't expect to win awards I just love going to these things and being a part of it and there was actually a time up until uh, just basically less than a week ago that I wasn't gonna be able to make it so You're um, well I was doing a, a something for a uh, lapse out in Langley it's a uh, animal shelter so right. uh, but we were told it's not going into the night now I've got the night free and I'm gonna be at the BCCMAs as well well I did post something on our Facebook page over the weekend asking people who they wanted to pick for the fans choice award and uh, you came in as oh, the favorite. Really? So that That's make great. me feel good. Well, it's really cool. I mean, it's nice to be a part of the industry still. And, uh, you know, now that I've turned 29 ish, uh, it's very cool to be uh, be involved in this still and uh, being a focal point somewhat of the, the BCCMAs. And hopefully, with this new record, uh, it really blows things out of the water. But it's great to see such new artists like, you know, obviously, One More Girl, yeah, Chad Brownlee, nice. The Higgins. Yeah. We've got. And uh, Ridley's still doing great. Super Jesse's talent. Doing awesome. We've yeah. got wicked talent on the West Coast. It's so great to see it. I support all of them. I think it's great. All right, so why don't you perform for us uh, the song that you're up for single of the year? Yeah. This is a little something that I wrote with uh, a couple of friends of mine, Willie Mack, uh, for one as well as uh, Mitch Merritt. Get close. 
close enough Making memories and nothing can erase Nothing but us oh, There's no place that we've gotta be Nothing but you